Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. If you've never tuned in here before, this is our brand new video weather blog. Again, weather overtime. That should read 8.03 a.m. I apologize for that. That should be a different number up there, but uh, we'll just let that slide for the time being. So keeping an eye on what's going on across the forecast for right now for the Mid-South, things are looking pretty good for this morning and also not doing too bad as we go into the next couple of days. We do have a winter storm that's going to be passing very close to the Mid-South, not affecting us with winter weather, so very good news there. And then also as we go into the rest of the travel season, as we approach the busiest travel day of the year coming up this Sunday. We are going to be seeing again some chances of rainfall from that same storm system, but once again not seeing any winter weather out there, nor are we seeing anything in the way of severe weather or thunderstorms, so very good news on that. Check up with the forecast. If you can't stick around for our whole weather blog, forecast in the red bar to the bottom of your screen, or check out our 7 to 10 day forecast at this website address, wreg.com slash weather. If you've got any weather reports out there, drop them into the comments section. We'll read those off as we go along. And again, just looking for temperature, wind speed, direction, cloud cover, rainfall amounts. If you've gotten any over the last couple of days, go ahead and give us an idea as to what's going on. And again, if you have the opportunity to give us some of your weather reports and weather pictures out there, please send them along and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 newscasts and also on our social media pages over the next couple of days. So stay tuned for more on that. Heading out to the Tigers football game against Houston later on this afternoon. Afternoon. Definitely want to pack some rain protection out there and make certain that you have that ready to go just in case, as we may see again the potential for some more raindrops out there throughout the rest of the morning, right on in through this afternoon. So if you have any plans for outdoors, football games, shopping, holiday travel, whatever you've got, we'll be seeing more of those chances of showers out there throughout midday and especially this afternoon and into this evening. But right now we're just not getting anything in the way of anything involving winter weather. Good news again for anybody traveling out there, and we'll have more details about the complete forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Let's take a look around the Mid-South and points beyond to give you an idea as to what weather's like out there. Back toward the D.C. area, cloudy skies across the Potomac, looking toward the Capitol building and the monuments, and seeing again some pretty quiet conditions from the National Mall Cam from the National Park Service there. From Great Smoky Mountains National Park, beautiful sunrise this morning. And again, some more clouds drifting on through East Tennessee and back into Western North Carolina. A little bit closer to home, the quad at Ole Miss showing some cloudy skies out there. Not too many people out and about for a stroll in Oxford for this morning. Likewise, pretty quiet around Rhodes College in Memphis. The view from the weather underground camera out there. So seeing again, mostly cloudy skies in and around Memphis. Good news, again, looking back toward Memphis International for this morning. Clear skies, at least where visibility is concerned. Cloudy skies out there, but not much showing up in the way of rainfall. The view from our 240 and Airways cam for this morning showing, calling it partly cloudy skies at the Memphis International Airport weather recording station. But again, for right now, anybody hitting the skyways for the time being, Memphis International showing delays of 15 minutes or less. So that's looking pretty good. A little breezy out there from time to time, and we'll see that continue throughout the course of the rest of the day. Welcome to everybody who's tuning in this morning, some from in the Mid-South, and some from outside the Mid-South and wherever you happen to be from or are currently located. Again, give us an idea as to where you're at or where you're from or anything else if it involves the Mid-South and drop it into the comments section so we can see that, especially if you've got weather reports out there. Good news for today. No major slowdowns. We saw some slowdowns yesterday at both uh, around San Francisco, Newark, and Teterboro in New Jersey. We're picking up some rain showers and also some fairly heavy human traffic out there. So that was slowing some things down this morning. Green across the board, so we're not looking at too much of a problem. Rain around San Francisco this morning, but once again, not doing too bad and nothing major taking place for now. Later on this weekend, if you're heading north up towards San St. Louis. Stay tuned. We'll give you an update on what that's looking like coming up here in just a little bit. 47 in South Haven. Cloudy skies. Rob Smith, thank you very much for that one. Wayne Jernigan from the Smokies, glad to hear, and uh, glad you're stopping by from East Tennessee. Thanks for stopping on by for this morning, and everybody else uh, checking in into and around the area. Bill Dwayne Tippins live in Independence, but visiting family close to Nashville. Cloudy in Middle Tennessee. Thank you very much for that one, and everybody else 
uh, checking in for this morning. Again, if you got the weather reports out there, drop those into the comments section. We'll read those uh, to show what's going on, where you may be located. Traffic light moving along pretty nicely at 2.40. <clears throat> and Poplar for this morning, and excuse me on that, going to be seeing again the possibility of some heavier traffic as we go throughout the rest of the day, and those chances of rainfall picking up into later on. Now we don't have much of anything going on on Storm Tracker 3S. We are starting to finally get some scattered light showers popping up into and around portions of Phillips County in Arkansas, and right across the river, Coahoma, Quitman County is picking up a little bit of some light sprinkles at this time. Some of that going right back up into to Lee and western St. Francis County around I-40, so just west of Forest City, Mariana, back to around Morrow, Haines, and Colt, west of that area. That's where we're getting the rainfall potential for right now. Back into northern Mississippi, not that much going on, although we are getting some scattered showers down around the Clarksdale area. Charleston, Cleveland, back to the west of I-55, picking up some more scattered showers there. West Tennessee, including Shelby County and Memphis, not that much happening at this time. Again, mainly clear when it comes to rainfall, at least. There's a lot of cloud cover out there, but it's going to be staying that way. Most of the rainfall for right now is developing west of the area. Little Rock at the center of your screen, Memphis in the mid-south area back this direction, and scattered showers down toward the Red River Valley, all the way back up into the Missouri River. Valley, but that is the good news. It's just rainfall, too warm for anything but, but rainfall at this point in time. More scattered showers like what we're seeing here and developing and making their way into the Mid-South as we get into and around the area coming up into tonight and early into Saturday, but it does not look like a washout for the weekend, so good news at this point in time all the way on through. Jesse Coleman, Federal Way, Washington, 42 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report out there. Appreciate that. Everybody else checking in uh, for this morning. Good morning to you. Hope everybody had a great uh, Thanksgiving out there, no matter where you happen to be. Thanks a lot for stopping on by. Temperatures again a bit chilly. Weathernet 3 back across the Mid-South, lower 40s around the area of the coolest numbers we could find on Weathernet 3. If you'd like to get this information on your computer system, all you have to do is go to this website address, wrag.com slash weather, and click on the weather bug icon on the screen, and you can get a listing of all the locations around the Mid-South. A couple of dozen around here, several hundred thousand around the world when you take a look at the different reports out there. So if you'd like some great near-time information out there, real-time information, check out weather bug, and you can find out more details about this. A little breezy into the rest of the day today. Temperatures, again, will be a little chilly out there with those winds kicking up to about 10 to 15 miles per hour across much of the Mid-South. So again, a little breezy, a little cool out there. Kids are going to need something to ward off that chill as we're not going to be seeing very warm conditions out across the Mid-South. Running the numbers into the rest of the day. We've been having some data problems this morning, uh, connection issues, so occasionally you may see these temperature numbers disappear and replaced by maybe a little bit of uh, zeros or gibberish. So again, hopefully we cleared up much of that, but once again throughout the rest of the day we may see the data d disappearing thanks to some minor problems along the line. But again, nothing huge for right now. Moving lines on screen, that's winds at the surface coming in from out of the southeast and moving up to the northwest. That's going to help to keep the temperature is pretty stable throughout the rest of the day. So as we go toward lunchtime, we may get a bit of a lull in activity. Gray is the cloud cover. Green is the chances for rainfall. That's going to be making its way up to the north and to the east, heading into Middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama. Light scattered showers for the most part, but looking back to the west, this is where we'll see the heavier rainfall start to knock on our door by about early to mid-afternoon. Eastern Arkansas picking that up. Now, red on radar does not mean severe weather. It just means the heaviest potential of rainfall, the thickest rainfall potential, will be located here rather than in the light green colors over here. So this rainfall will be heaviest, and again, right into around early this afternoon. That's going to be passing on through the Mid-South as we get into early the brown dinner time and early this evening right past sunset. So all this passing on through right about the time you may be heading home from a lot of shopping out there. And if you're heading out later on this evening to do some shopping, more rainfall potential. So you're going to need some sort of rain protection out there for the evening hours. Heading out to the football game, uh, Memphis versus Houston, starting at 11 o'clock at the Liberty Bowl. Light scattered showers early, but once again, heading through the rest of the game 
the chances of rain will be ramping up. So definitely want to make certain that you've got a little bit more rain protection out there as we get into the area, as we go throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon and this evening. My wife, Melissa Onik, welcome to the show. Thanks for stopping on by for this morning. Hope everything's quiet at home for right now. 44 in Batesville, Maurice Jones. Thank you very much uh, for that one right there. Peggy Moffat, good morning. Bethel Springs staying inside. Yeah, with the rainfall on the way, probably will be doing that a little bit more myself coming up a little bit later on. Chances for rainfall, again, should linger until about early on Saturday morning. Now, by the time we hit daybreak, we're probably going to be getting a few leftover sprinkles possible in the eastern parts of the viewing area. That should be gone into the rest of Saturday, so we should not see too much of a major concern with rainfall. But once again, there could be some lingering showers out there. The showers will be developing into this afternoon and this evening. So again, right about the time the football game starts in the Liberty Bowl area, that's where we could see that rainfall potential really start to take off. So again, please keep a little bit more in the way of some rain protection out there handy. And again, make certain those windshield wipers are working as well. Tommy Robbins, 45 in Ecru, Mississippi. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Thanks for joining us there. Uh, let's see, Charles Edward Stanton, love the weather in the south, love to take some back to Milwaukee. I've seen some of the winters in Milwaukee. I would think you would like to take some of that weather back that direction. So uh, hope you're not heading back in any, any winter storms that direction, but thanks for dropping on by. Forest City, 48, Melvin Shaw. Thank you very much uh, for dropping by from St. Francis County. Tomorrow, again, maybe some light drizzle lingering into around mid-morning or so. Beyond that, really just not that much expected. And very mild tomorrow, above normal temperatures into the mid to upper 60s. Mid to upper 60s, beautiful for most of Sunday, but unfortunately this next storm system coming on through as it passes north of us could drag some showers our direction, and we're going to be seeing the winds turn around back out of the northwest. That's going to cool us off into Monday. So if you're planning on traveling on the busiest travel day of the year for the country, this is where we could see, again, the potential for some showers that could slow some things down, especially right about sunset and afterwards. We'll time that out for you coming up here in just a little bit. The really cold air starts to make its way into and around the area by the early portions of next week. Kids at the bus stop Monday morning are going to need, again, some uh, something to ward off the chill, some pretty chilly numbers there in the lower 30s. And highs Monday and Tuesday will only be back in the lower to mid 40s. So some pretty chilly numbers coming our direction out there. Uh, let's see who else we got here for right now. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us again for this morning. Cloudy in the Fraser area. Cherica No Love Trawick. Thank you very much. Uh, for checking on through this morning and everybody else who's checking in uh, for right now. Pretty chilly into the early part of next week, back to work or school, and then more chances of rain start to make their way in late on Wednesday into early on Thursday. Staying again pretty mild out there, mid to upper 50s. That's pretty close to normal for this time of the year. No major cold waves coming on through, no Arctic blasts, nothing in the way of winter weather coming on through. Too warm for anything but rainfall and not powerful enough for anything involving severe weather. So we don't see really anything out there in the way of problems for the Mid-South, with the exception of, again, some chances of rainfall. And that's going to be about all that we do uh, for any time in the near future. So... Not much of anything showing up uh, at this point in the way of really huge problems. We can get some pretty nasty storms at this time of the year, so very good news on that. And we'll keep you updated on this forecast throughout the rest of Friday and, of course, right on in through the rest of the weekend as well. Cloudy, 47 in Enid. Scotty Grace, thank you very much for checking in with that weather report for this morning. Now, timing out our next winter storm passing near, not through, the Mid-South area. As we get into Saturday night, up around I-70, Chicago, back towards St. Louis, south of Des Moines, Kansas City, Wichita, and that area, we start to see some rainfall developing Saturday evening. Now, it's going to be too warm in the Mid-South for anything but rainfall when it starts developing here. By Sunday morning, better chances of snow and possibly some not good travel conditions. Anything west of Topeka could be looking at some problems here and rain developing across Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, and northern Oklahoma. That's going to be very early on Sunday. Note that it's a pretty sharp turnover from rain to snow. And again, the Mid-South area down here not getting anything by, Saturday, by uh, Sunday morning. But as we go into around Sunday afternoon, chances of rain start to develop up here. Just rainfall is going to be too warm for anything but rainfall. A mixture of precipitation from, say, 
Rollis, Jefferson City, Springfield, Lake of the Ozarks, Fort Leonard Wood could be picking up some changeover in precipitation by Sunday afternoon, and snowfall north and west of that. So anything, again, north of St. Louis, back toward Kansas City, and all the way back to around Wichita, Kansas, could see a brief, sharp hit of some snowfall into and around the area as we go toward the end of the travel day on Sunday. That could cause some slowdowns up there. So if you know anybody who's heading in into this area or you know anybody who's heading back home again through this area may want to get them updated on the potential for anything involving winter weather between wherever they are in the Mid-South. We again are not not going to see winter weather out of this storm system. So good news on that. We could see some snowflakes as far south as southern Missouri mixed in with the rainfall. Not really seeing much of anything at this point in time, so pretty quiet at this point. Ripley, 44 degrees. Avery Nellum, cloudy at this time. Thank you very much. Lonnie Hawkins, 45 degrees in Batesville, Mississippi. Thank you for stopping on by. Very good news. We've got, again, just about a week or so until the end of hurricane season and hardly anything expected to be a problem out into the tropics. Still very warm water, so we could still see something develop, but over the next two to five days, National Hurricane Center is not showing anything in the way of development, so good news on that. Again, we'll keep you updated with the National Hurricane Center here with the weather experts as well. Good news into this weekend by Monday, Another probe, <clears throat> excuse me, will be making its way toward Mars. It's called the InSight Lander, and it's going to be dropping down to around the area of Elysium Planitia on Mars' surface. It's going to be landing between the old Viking 2 lander site and where Curiosity is currently trying to rove around the area. Just got back in, in touch with Curiosity a couple days ago. That sandstorm a few weeks ago did a good job of covering up its solar panels. So we just got back in contact with that and hopefully is going to be staying there. But on Monday at about noon, we should be waiting for the signal to join us from Mars to Earth from InSight. If you'd like to know more about this, stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend or go to mars.nasa.gov slash insight for more information on that. Coming up next week at the monthly meeting for the Net, for the Memphis Astronomical Society, they're going to be holding their annual how to buy a telescope or what type of telescope to buy as a gift seminar meeting. So if you have questions about what to look for in telescopes, maybe beginner telescopes for kids, possible equipment that you can connect to computers or cameras to, Memphis Astronomical Society would be one of the best places you can go to. This will be at 8 p.m. next Friday, not today, not tonight, but next Friday, December the 7th, as we get into the holiday gift-giving season. Tons of opportunities out there to get different levels, different types, different prices of equipment, and the Memphis Astronomical Society can help you out on that. More details and contact information society underscore Memphis on Twitter or at memphisastro.org if you'd like to know more by dropping by their website and checking out the meetings. Great opportunity to learn more. It's on the campus of Christian Brothers University in central Memphis at Assisi Science Hall at auditorium number 151, I think that's the case. And again, a great opportunity to learn more about what's going on there. My forecast with Bob and Josh coming up throughout the rest of the morning on Talk Back Live on AM 730 from 8 to 10 a.m. Betty Puckett, 45 in Olive Branch. 41 wind chill. Thank you very much for that one. AccuWeather, okay, good. Good opportunity to show that. Cloudy skies and quiet conditions there. And thank you very much for everybody else for checking in this morning. We'll have more on your forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Stay tuned for his forecast. Jim Jaggers will have more on the evening shift coming up a little bit later on. I'll have more coming up later on this morning, depending on what time we get done recording updates here in the studio. So join me a little bit later on my Facebook Periscope and Twitter pages, and we'll announce that online. And we'll also take a look at whether where the troops are. A lot of people can't get home for the holidays because they're on duty overseas, and we'll take a look at some of those locations. So if you have friends or loved ones, stay tuned for more on that, and that'll be coming up a little bit before 11 o'clock later on this morning. I'm doing double duty with weather and traffic this morning, so we got to wrap things up before we get to our next update at 825 as Corey Ventura is taking the holiday off. And I'll have more on your forecast through News Channel 3 at noon. And again, Jim Jack coming up later on tonight. Questions, concerns, ideas, drop me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Friday and into this weekend on air and online. Thanks for joining us.